What's up guys, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in to another video. It's your boy Rush, back at it again today. Well today, we're in the Challenger, as you can see by the red seat belts and the SRT sign on the other passenger seat. Uh, we're taking this car out to Los Angeles. Now, I'm about an hour away from LA, um, but the reason I'm going out there today is because the Challenger needs to get a little bit of love. Uh, I've been daily driving this thing, and that means that it sits outside, it's driven a lot, and it tends to get dirty quite often. Now, a big pet for me is having, or seeing my cars dirty, or having them be dirty, is just not a good look, you know, especially when you make videos and if your car turns out to be dirty in the video, a lot of people are going to give you crap for it. But I'm not even making it, I'm not even getting the car, you know, ceramic coated and paint corrected and everything like that for that reason. I'm really doing it for me because I just cannot stand driving this car when it's dirty. I feel like it's just, it deserves better than this, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, today we're going to a detailing shop. They did a few of my buddy's cars and they offered to hook me up by taking care of my car as long as I provide a awesome video for you guys in which I educate you on ceramic coating, show you how the paint process is, and kind of show you a before and after. So I said, say no more, let's get it done, let's work together, and that's what we're doing. So the goal is to go ahead and uh, you know give them my car, they're gonna do their thing on it. I'm gonna film the process for you guys, maybe have them talk about it a little bit, or I might talk about it a little bit, um, and, and show you the benefits. Now I know ceramic coating triggers some people because they think it's absolute waste of money, while other people think that it's like the best thing that ever happened to car care. So I know there's people on either side of the, the fence. I personally have never had a car ceramic coated. Uh, I usually just try to take care of my cars as best as I can. But I'll tell you what, no matter how hard you try, I have seen the results of ceramic coating and it doesn't look like you can get that result unless you do that process. So that's just my two cents on it right now. So I'm gonna go ahead, have them do their thing, and then we'll catch up with you guys and see uh, what it's like, you know, maybe six months from now, a year from now, how it holds up, all that good stuff. So anyways, I'll catch you guys as soon as I get over there. In typical fashion, we have some LA traffic heading into LA. Um, and this is gonna be the case regardless of where you go. So we're going about 20 miles an hour on the freeway where the speed limit's 65. Welcome to LA, my friends. Welcome to LA. So anyways, I'll catch you guys as soon as we pull up. See you in a bit. All right, guys, so I just pulled up. We got the car here finally. It was quite a bit of traffic, and I got the wrong address. I had to redo that. But anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and introduce you to the person that's going to be doing this ceramic coating, have him talk about the whole coating, what he's planning to do for the car. Um, so here we go. Say what's up. What's up, man? I'm JP. Well, today, we're going to be giving him the ceramic coat, whether, you know, top to bottom, whether he wants the windows too. I'll do the windows if he wants it. Um, well, first, we're going to do with the body. The body, we're going to do a five-year by GQ Technic. It's a platinum series. It is a guaranteed one. Now. With this one, you do have to perfect the paint. So before I do anything ceramic wise, I'm gonna fully correct the car top to bottom from an ironizing to a clay to fully just perfecting the car. Now from there, I can go ahead in the coat, he gets the five year, and then we'll work our way down to the rims. From the rims, we'll start off by de-ironizing them, polishing them top to bottom, in and out, in inside and out. Now from there, I can go ahead and lay the coat. After I lay the coat, it flashes, and then we're back. So do you want to tell me how bad my paint is right now? All right, so on a one to, on a scale of one to ten, I'm gonna give you you're about oh if you could get it close on camera. All this this is all from improper washing. Like you use mm -hmm. you probably did you know the, the, the microfiber towels, but you probably didn't use the, the right ones. So all this webbing you see all around the car is from improper washing, improper wiping. So I mean it's not bad. It could be saved. I'd give you like you're on like a one to ten. You're about like a five or a six. But okay. It, it's savable. You know, it's nothing savable. Bad. It's nothing bad. You know, it's still. Okay. You know, honestly, I thought it was worse, but. No, no, no. You're, not, you're nothing bad. You're like a it's not too six. deep in there, I guess. You're like a five or a six, and you know, a good seven hours, six hours of straight detailing, you perfected. And this yeah, thing looks like a marble. Sick. All 
smart guys. So I'm gonna have him just explain something. He just tell me right now. He, they met, used a tool um, to kind of go ahead and measure uh, what the uh, clear is, uh, is on the car. Um, and they've done a few of these. So apparently the red eyes have a little more clear on them and I would expect that to be the case because you pay a lot more for that car. But he's gonna go ahead and, and stick this on the car and, and show us how much so clear is on my car. So on these cars factor, you have normally between 130 and 200, just depending on the car you get and how how they treat it. But right now, as you can see, Rush, he, has a, he has about 110. Now, 110, that's just showing me how much playroom I have with it. I don't ever wanna go nothing nothing below his safe zone, I wanna say, which is about 105, 100, cutting it to the max. Uh -huh. So I don't wanna go nowhere near that. So about with today, with the work I'll be done, I'm probably gonna remove about five points, so it'll probably be at 105. But with the ceramic being there, it's gonna, add that layer on it so it'll be back up again okay cool so, but with the, that being said alone i have to level it out with the rotary machine and just do fully cut and with this showing me how much i have my room to play that's going to tell me how much i need to cut and how much i have to actually play like play with yeah, how much room I have cool to play so there is like a science behind it guys it's not like just a guessing game there's actual tools that are used to kind of um you know tell you what to do in terms of paint so that's why like i don't know how much that tool was but if i was to do this at home let's say <laughs> there's no yeah so that's, that's not just not only that some areas too like you can see here you got one you got 100 here it'll change it, it varies in areas it'll mm -hmm. vary so like in some areas you'll have 130 mm -hmm. some areas you'll have 140 gotcha areas, you'll have 120 gotcha like something you touch a lot like mm -hmm. trunk, build your trunk on the deck with put it right here 120. 120. Okay, so all that stuff yeah, kind of so varies a little bit. Yeah, it varies. So like your door where your hands are always touching. You know, your keys, your keys in your hand are always going like this. You're going to have a lower number, so. You know, uh, that's 110. 110. Gotcha. So it just, it varies. And it's, it's always better to have these on hand because when you are cutting, you don't ever want to cut too much and then burn is clear. Mm -hmm. Burn is clear. Yeah. I'm responsible for Buddy's car. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, I can't do that, you know. Okay, and I want. I hope you guys were able to see kind of some of the swirls because they're very vis visible, especially in a lot of sunlight. You can see them. The camera's picking them up. Um, and this is just from you know having the car for two years and having it sit outside, sit inside, washing it at home, washing it outside. It happens, you know. A lot of drying towels have touched this paint, and that's probably what caused all the swirling, right? Improper washing. Yeah. Dirty mitts, dirty towels. Sometimes you don't know, wash your towels right. Mm -hmm. it just it happens, you know. There's a they, they don't want to admit that there's a method to it, but there's a method for everything. For everything, of course. Yeah. Well, all right, guys. So, um, you know, we, we got that out of the way now. Time to let the the fun begin. So, you, you estimate how long uh, you'll need with the car? What six seven hours? Yeah, six seven hours. Would be good. Six seven hours. All right. A day's work, man, to get this thing looking the right way. We're gonna get the wheels done as well because I have black wheels and they look great until they're dirty and then we have problems <laughs> why they don't look so good so i want you guys to really go ahead and show these guys some love um you know that they, they do some killer work and uh, that's just from what i've seen so i can't wait to see what they do on my car so uh, yeah we'll catch you guys in a little bit i'm going to give you a little bit of shots of them getting some work done uh show you kind of how the process is and uh we'll go from there So I am finally driving back to go get the car. I hung out with Alex for a little bit. I sold his car since so he had to go run some errands and take care of some stuff. So I'm in his Fusion right now. So thank you for letting me borrow the car, Alex. Appreciate it. Um, this is the one with the red leather, as you can see. I still can't believe he put red leather in a Fusion, but uh, to each their own, right? So uh, the process is almost done. The detailers have been messaging me. They sent me some photos, videos, stuff like that. So I'll throw some of it up so you guys can take a look. But this is like a little sneak peek before we pull up. So anyways, you guys are gonna see the finished result in just a minute here since in the video, you get to skip all the LA traffic and all that fun stuff that I have to deal with. But I'm excited to see what the car's gonna look like because I think it's gonna look better than it did from uh, the day it came out of the factory. Reason being, I think when the dealership, you know, washed it the first time they got it, they already 
had put some swirls in it, so this is gonna be as clean as it's ever looked. Um, they did say there were some rough areas that they had to like really kind of uh, work on, so hopefully they were able to knock it all out, and uh, the Challenger looks good. All right, guys, so I just pulled back up, and man, I've never seen my Challenger look this good. <laughs> the paint looks crazy. I mean, it just looks really, really flawless. Um, and it's crazy how in you know matter of a couple hours these guys have taken all the wear and tear that this car has been through over the past you know two years now. And look at that, just perfect reflection. It looks like a mirror. So this is actually just the the stage where they um, you know kind of cleared the paint right, did everything they needed to do to get all the imperfections out. So it doesn't have the ceramic coating put on just yet. We haven't gotten to that part just just yet in the process but so far it just looks really good I mean I'm just looking around here and it's a mirror in every way possible you can think of So after a long day, <laughs> enough for me for them, um, working on the car, the car is complete. I've honestly never seen my car this clean since I bought it. I, you know, the paint has never looked this good. And uh, I don't know, man, it looks like a mirror. It definitely looks really, really nice. Just everything is popping on it. And they say after it cures for a couple of days, it's gonna look even better. So I'm super excited. I definitely wanted to give a big shout out to uh, City City auto detailing for their awesome job on the car. They went above and beyond to make sure everything came out really clean and really nice. Let me know what you guys think of this ceramic coating down below. I'll show you guys the car tomorrow in the sunlight when it's a little brighter outside, the sun is going down. But the Challenger is done, she's looking really good and uh, I think it's totally worth it because it's just would have never looked this good no matter what I did at home. So getting these guys to do their magic touch to it was uh, worth the price that I paid today. Hope you guys hit them up. If you are looking for some detailing, you can definitely see me there recording. Look how just mirror everywhere, not a single swirl or anything to be seen. So shout out to them. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. My name is Rush. Catch you in the next one. Peace.